Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And today we are going to be eating some Jolly Crisps uh, from Singapore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So we did a crisp World Cup not long ago. This is like one of the group stages games oh my where, gosh. where like one team wins like 10-0. Oh 10-0. Nil. <laughs> nil. And you're like, how is it yeah. even possible that this team will not yeah. win the tournament? There was one nation that had so many teams in the group stages that we actually yeah. kind of disqualified them from the World Cup. They're getting their own cup that can then compete with the three... Oh, crap. <laughs> three winners from our World Cup. Gold, silver and bronze. Mi Goreng, Indomie. Chitos Pelotazos from Spain. And third place, Japanese caramel corn. Oh, obviously not to be scoffed at. Fourth place, we do have Potatia Yopi from this the Netherlands. Strong. And then in the corner of shame, there's the drop toppers. <laughs> Don't forget about the drop toppers. <laughs> but They're Singapore, all... they have a huge amount of teams in the group stages. True. Also, not only do we get crisps, we get McDonald's garlic chili sauce and McDonald's curry sauce. All right, so we're gonna clear them off and pick them one at a time. Start us off, Alex. This is from a brand called Flavors of the East. Hainanese chicken rice. Ah. Uh, no idea what that is. You haven't been to Singapore, man. What is Hainanese chicken rice? See, now I knew about Hainan because I grew up in China. I didn't know they did chicken and rice as a thing. And I went to Singapore for the first time recently and had Hainanese chicken rice. It's incredible. It's like a proper thing. Is that what it tastes like? It's similar. That's similar. what it smells like. Okay. Mmm. Oh, it's not overpowering. It tastes different. It's subtle. Chicken rice is kind of like that. It tastes really good when you dip it in stuff as well. A bit of curry. That is good. It works. That is really good. What about chili garlic? Garlic chili sauce from McDonald's. Who knew that? They look like ketchup packets. Oh, mm. chili frickin' garlic. That is good. Let me just establish, we're eating rice-flavoured potato chips. It's nice though. It shouldn't work, but All it right. does. I've got another one. Beef rendang potato chips. Rendang. Again, no frame of reference. Whoa! Guys, okay, these flavours Gosh. are not messing around. They probably smell like actual food. Seriously, try that. You thought the chicken, Hanan, Hananan chicken was great. <laughs> Hananan chicken! <laughs> the rendang is fresh. Holy moly! These are like Willy Wonka crisps. They taste like a full meal in your mouth. There's beef in there. There's beef. A bit of salad. Maybe a nice view. Great service from the waiter. Gravy. I've got yeah. a smell of gravy in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Romantic music. <laughs> good day. Romantic music! I'm gonna go out on a limb here though and say it's a bit too intense of a flavour profile for me. After I've had three, I'm like, cool, okay. That's why in fine dining restaurants, they have a small portion. Small portions, yeah. So this- is very rich. This packet should actually be this big. Tiny, that would be perfect, perfect. portion. Or flavours from the East, Singapore, okay. laksa. Wait a second. Laksa flavoured cup noodle flavoured crisps. If we're having a laksa off. Let's give it a head Okay. Laksa, one of the popular authentic cup noodle flavours is now in potato chips. Wait. Whoa. Oh, compare the smells. Similar. So this is supposed to taste like actual Singaporean laksa or laksa flavoured cup noodles. Because I don't really know that I know what they taste like. Well, I mean, I'm flying completely blind. <laughs> <laughs> I've got laksa. no idea. No. Okay. All right. Let's the go. laksa tips. It's <laughs> <laughs> coconut. Ooh, that is delicious. How have they made it taste creamy? Wait, switch, switch, switch. Okay. This is like a mini game within the fuller game that we're playing. The competition, mini competition, who makes the All best right. laxa chips? There's no competition. Ooh, though the aftertaste in this. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's There's, really there good. It's an aftertaste. That is all in the, what's the opposite of an aftertaste? The foretaste. The foretaste. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it saves everything for the aftertaste. The foretaste, is, it just tastes like a super oily crinkle crisp. That's true. That doesn't taste too oily. I would want to eat more of these. Yeah. Wow, Singapore bringing their crisp game hard. This Old is good. Old Chang Ki original curry puff flavor. Curry puffs. 
Ah, oh, like these little things. I literally need to go to Singapore. I've got you no do. Idea what curry puffs. I'm are. telling you, man. Singaporean food is so diverse. What is a curry puff? It's like a curry pasty. Ah. But better. Nothing against Just pasties. On behalf of the entire United Kingdom. Okay. <laughs> I want to categorically, with no foundation, reject what you just said. It's like a cartoon crisp shape. Ooh. It does not taste strongly of curry. It's like a, a coconutty curry. curry. Yeah, I would buy that. If I was in a hurry puff, <laughs> oh. I'd buy some curry puff. You'd buy a curry puff, flavoured crisp. Right, you can have that for free. <laughs> oh, no. um, yeah. It's here all week. We are. And the next week. And for a long time. So subscribe. 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 <laughs> Is that your favourite so far? I think it might be. It's pleasingly salty. It's creamy. It's got that slight curry flavour, but it's mm. really not overpowering mm. at all. I don't know who old Chang Ki is, but he's getting it right. An absolute f***ing legend. <laughs> 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 All right. A legend he is. Oh, he's been doing it since 1956. I told you he was a of legend. Of course. I told of you. Of course he has. Right, what have we got next, Josh? Truffle crisps. We are upping our fans level. I'm presuming there's not any real truffle in these. Definitely not. But then a lot of truffle doesn't actually have any real truffle in it. <sighs> really? It's just got... Flavoring. <laughs> I love it. It's a hundred percent real potatoes. Oh wow. Don't ask us about the truffles. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, oh, it's truffle tastic. That is truffleicious. Oh my gosh. It's almost too truffle. It's almost too truffly. You gotta freaking love truffle. The taste is more truffly than the smell. Honestly, I think that's too much. It's too truffly. It's a trifle too much truffle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been inside uh, for a long time. You know when you really like something, so you're like, oh, I could just have that by itself. And then you have it by yourself, you're like, that's a terrible idea. Exactly. Like, you don't want to just go and chug a bottle of truffle oil. Works well on chips. Not, not good idea. well as yeah. a shot. The final one. It's actually a final okay. two, but I'm not sure whether they qualify. This is from Mammy Monster, Champagne Mammy. This to me looks like that Korean snack, Busho Busho. Toss in some seasoning and then crunch it. Wouldn't normally classify this as a crisp, but I guess you do eat it in a crispy form. Ooh, 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 that smells good. Oh, oh, Busho, that crap. Okay, very good. It's literally just ground up. Ramyeon. Ramyeon. Oh, oh you're going straight in for the pour technique. That is bold. It's like Busho Busho. It is like there's, a, there's an attractiveness to it, but a more reasonable size pack. Mm. Oh, it's got a kick to it. Mm. It's, it's like Hainanese chicken rice with a little bit of chili powder. Tastes the least healthy. I can see why that would be popular. Rocket. I don't think it's going to compete on a world stage. No. However, but the thing that was sent to us most, two different people sent us this, and they sent us large amounts of it. Very strange packaging. I want to put this into Photoshop and press invert and just see. Well, and if everything says eat at your own risk, you're like, well, maybe I will be. Yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I will. What are you going to do about it? What? Oh, what on earth is this? Doesn't taste of anything. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> I don't have any water. Do you know? Wow. There's no oh. flames on that or anything. That is some cheeky ass marketing there. You're eating more. It's you more are mental. It's more ish. You are so crazy. I need to get some water. Look at that. I want Gabby to try him. I mean, you're good with spicy food, right? Yeah. It's black. If that, is that if. No, no, it's what? not even no, red. What? I know. No, no, what? Does it taste spicy at all? I'm trying to feel it, yeah. Why do you have to try to feel it? Are you just not feeling it? It doesn't make it any sense. At all. This is a really nice crunch. Uh, I feel like such a wimp. I may be the first wife, but you're the alpha wife. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, all right. Thanks. All right, well, who wins the World Cup, Josh? The Singaporean. I feel like I have zero recollection of what anything tasted like now. Well, you finished these. I think the these are a winner for you. I think old, old, old Chanky. Old Chanky. I'm gonna call it a tie in my books. The thing is, old Chanky, he's been making crisps since 1956. It's true. I would say his branding isn't yeah. as good as Feast. He's just old Chanky. 
just doing an honest day's work, making his original curry puff flavour. It's a thankless just task. Like, just like young Chanky did. I'm worried yeah. that if we don't give it to him, he's going to get old cranky. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> Look, I'll give it a tie, you give it to him, it means Chanky takes it. Chanky takes it. Yeah. Well, the question is now, where does old Chanky fit onto the Wall of Fame? Controversial decision, third. Third. You know what? I think you're right. Caramel corn relies too heavily on its sweetness. Oh, Chanky. You're in a medal winning position. It relies too well, that has been the Singaporean special. Now you guys know. If you're going to Singapore, you want to buy some crisps for the flight home. I mean, probably not going to happen anytime soon, but no. it's any time in the future when you, when you are thinking of that. Now you know what crisps to buy. I just realized this is Lao Chanky. <laughs> All right, show off. <laughs> Lao means old. Yeah. I guess. I'm not, I'm not a complete idiot. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you jolly soon. Bye! <laughs>